seems like it's going to be in Colorado this year, and I think uh, the pass and stuff we like taking, I think the altitudes will probably benefit a lot in this car, or the extra power would benefit a lot of high altitudes. So after uh, working with Seth's car, doing that 4AC swap on it, I'm pretty convinced it'll be worth doing in this car. So I guess let's go uh, scoop it up. Let's see how the adventure goes. Come on. All right, well, I left the guy's house. I didn't want to try to film there and be weird, but uh, we are officially back on the road. Well, roughly, I gotta strap it. I gotta strap this thing down a little bit better, but here she is. She's secured. It, the engine looks like engine, and it's definitely made of engine. It's a wavy head, some scroll ahead, so that'll be nice. Flywheel's probably uh, scrap. I don't know if those are interchangeable between the two, so I know these brackets definitely are, so I'm definitely gonna be posting those on the it's really all I use is five gallons. It's not bad. But it looks like it's got a fairly new uh, oil pump and stuff on it. So this might be a cheap rebuild. It might be a lot. I guess we'll see what happens as we get into it a little bit farther. And another bonus of making this trip today is my favorite. This right there. That's right. We found pitch black. Oh, man. Pitch black in a bottle. I've had some fountain recently, and it just doesn't hit the spot like a bottle does. Cans are actually the best, in my opinion. Glass, then cans, then bottles, then fountain. But I'll handle this. I can take it. Anything's better than nothing, I guess. All right. Well, while I'm in Detroit, I gotta check this place out. Never been here before. I just hear they sell various flavors of Mountain Dew that are not available in America. So we're gonna go find out. Let's go check this place out together. Imported snacks and sodas. That's what I'm here for. Let's go check this out. I don't know if they're gonna be filming here, so we're gonna get from the outside at least a little bit. Gourmet bacon? I know in Japan they got tons of different like crazy flavors of like chips and stuff like that that we don't have here. This is cool. Got the Kit Kats. Cookie crumble. Roasted almond. Tasmanian mint. Oh, Cinnabon Oreos. It looks delicious. Pokemon. All kinds of other different pops here. Oh man, worth the drive. Look like a wreck. I've been at work all day, uh, but uh, I spent a lot of money on do today. <laughs> Holy crap! Well, we're back out in Thunder Bucket. Uh, here's the haul. I bought two of each of these. Um, it was a little bit more money than I wanted to spend, but you know, I'm never gonna really get this stuff again. So eh, it is what it is. So I'm gonna go get, go to a restaurant that's actually fairly nearby to here. That there's a handful of them in the country. You guys have probably never seen them, but I'll go ahead and do some videos of that. But I think when I get out, I'm gonna go try this. This passion fruit frenzy stuff looks pretty good. All right, so here we are, at Ford's Garage. This place is really, really cool. Most of you guys probably don't know because I really don't talk about my life on here much other than car stuff. But I actually grew up riding around in a lot of these old cars when I was a little kid. My grandfather has a he had, in his time, several of these old Model A's, Model T's, stuff like that. Up here's the door handles, old gas cans. Here's the entryway right here. This is really cool. Well, it's got some old Ford stuff all over the place. This is really cool. Really, really, really cool. The view for the night in the hallway of the bathroom. Tons of cool old pictures. Hey, the bathroom's got these handles. Well, this is a unique experience. 
As I was washing my hands, I happened to notice 185, 65, 14. These are Tercel size tires. Wonder if they'd sell these. I think I'm definitely gonna go with a Ford Signature Burger. It's pretty good. Can't really be bacon and barbecue sauce. Oh yeah, this is gonna hit the right spots. A bunch of blocks up there. Little toolboxes right here. Yeah, my lens is dirty, unfortunately, but. Well, that was a delicious burger. I feel like I should probably get a picture of my car in front of here. I mean, might as well, right? It's a one-way road, so if I come through here, I gotta go out that way anyway. That's probably the way home, so let's do that. All right, so now that we're out of dinner, I'm kind of off to the side over here in the parking lot. I feel like I gotta try this stuff, this stuff now. Dude looks ultra delicious, so I need to try it. I'm a little nervous. What if it's not that good? I don't know how passion fruit tastes. All right, sniff test time. Hmm. Whoa. That's a flavor I've never really experienced before. It's pretty good. Yep, I like it. This is really good. Passion fruit frenzy with a citrus flair. This is really good. All right, we officially made it home. Uh, I'm kind of getting things unpacked right now. Uh, I try to clean up the garage because it's still a mess from last weekend when Seth was here, but Mountain Dew's made it safe. Most importantly, we wanted to make sure those came home in one piece, and they all did, which is great. Um, engine survived too. So I guess let's go ahead and get this thing loaded out and up on the stand right here. We can probably keep this thing on here by ourselves. It's a little bit of weight to carry, but... Well, the engine stands right there, and, and I gotta get chains out and stuff, so. I don't know, first things first, I gotta pull this flywheel off, so I'm gonna go get that out real quick. It is a 17. Hooray, I got it right. Hey, now. You don't need to come in. Off goes the flywheel. Let's tip this forward a little bit, I guess. Oh, we're spilling oil. Shoot. Well, it's going to run for a second. Call me Simpsons Classics, the way I'm using microfibers as rags. Are these also 17s? Well, the 17's enough. That one's not at all. Why would they make a bolt the same thread but the head's larger? Well, I guess hopefully that's the same thread. There we go. We'll just wheel it out of here. There we go. Up she comes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to get it a little bit straighter on here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Woo, I'm out of breath, but here she is. It is, uh, honestly, aesthetically in really good shape. It looks really nice. It looks like it's been resealed recently. All these gaskets look fairly nice. Whether it's been gone through or not, who knows? We're gonna find that out here a little bit together, I guess. Um, there's really no good way for me to check a pressure without throwing a starter and a flywheel on it. It's nothing I really wanna do. 
The guy did say it was using oil near the end of its life when he had it in his car. He had an 86 Corolla that had this in there. Obviously, as you can tell by the brackets. And probably the flywheel too if you're a Corolla guy or Tercel guy at all. But anyway, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and go crazy, I guess. I'm gonna get the intake and exhaust manifold off. So I don't know, I guess let's go ahead and uh, pull these little bolts out right here and let's go check it out on the inside. Very loose, but. Hmm. Yep, they look like exhausted, exhausted intake manifolds. Well, the ports aren't all covered in oil and covered in dirt, and they don't look terrible. So I guess that's a good sign. I really don't know. Really, I think now next I'm going to go ahead and rotate the crankshaft around. Figure out where top dead center is. Mark everything on here with a paint marker. This belt is... <laughs> Honestly, halfway decent. I'll probably rerun it. I know it called me cheap. That's fine. But this belt looks pretty nice. So, let's go to that right now. I'll mark the crank up right about there. Sharpie's probably not the best way to do this. But that's all I've got. So, I'm going to go take a picture of this so I don't forget. Boop. Hopefully not so drastically. I'm thinking this water's been gone through recently, which if that's the case, then I'm just going to throw it and throw it in Thunder Bucket and not even bother with anything other than a couple of gaskets. But we'll find out. Okay, that's all the head bolts broken free. Let's make a little bit of room in this workbench. Let's pull this cylinder head off. Release yourself, parasite. Well, here we go. Here's what it looks like. I'm not seeing any stamping on the top of these pistons. So I think these are stock piston sizes, but dude, this engine looks really nice. I have a feeling he had gone through this thing and just swapped it out. There is, I'm not feeling any ring ridge on the top of these. Let me go ahead and rotate this engine over a few. All right, I'm rotate this around. Let's see what it looks like everywhere else. There's really no ring ridge on here either. I mean, nothing bad. Dude, I might even just send this. I'll probably actually take the pistons out of it, just check everything over. But dude, this thing's freaking gorgeous. It looks like there's a little bit of scoring down at the bottom. The very bottom right here. But that could be just it sitting for a long time and getting some rust scale build up. But all right, now's the moment of real truth. How does it look under the valves? I guess let's go ahead and flip it up this way. This is really not the best way to do this, but whatever. A little bit of dirt. I don't think that's all that bad. I'll pull it out and probably do a hand valve lap job. Looks like we had some uh, blown head gasket action going on inside of here, possibly. There's some carbon buildup in there. So, not a big deal. These, notorious, these gaskets are notorious for popping. Yeah, looks like it probably popped right there. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up. I'll pull the oil pan off of it tomorrow, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and probably run this. So, I guess stay tuned for a future video. We'll probably do another video where I kind of clean this thing up really good and do whatever I'm going to do to it. I'll figure out as time goes on, and we'll go from there. I guess that's really going to do it for... Do, I guess that's really going to be it for me for today. Uh, stay tuned. I'm probably going to throw this engine just right in this car. 
I'll tear it apart a little bit further tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'll probably just make another video of me resealing it and then probably just throw it in the car. I'm going to probably try to run the factory carburetor and we'll see what happens because she looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So this is a great purchase. So, alrighty guys, I'll catch you the next one. Stay tuned. Adios.